Okay guys, in this video I'm going to share my top five most versatile dither fish for your average community aquarium. Before I do that, here's the definition of dither fish for those of you who may have never heard of this terminology. Starting with number five, the African jewelfish cichlid. Now I'm sure some of you are familiar with this particular fish, but do you know this is one of the most toughest little cichlids on the planet? And they display some of the most beautiful turquoise blue and strawberry red coloration, which makes them perfect for mid to large semi-aggressive African cichlid community aquarium. Now take a look at some basic information on this species. Little known fish fact. Most fish species found in creeks and streams are some of the most toughest, hardiest fish on the planet. And they usually display a lot of coloration due to the distance between the sunlight and the surface of the water that they are living in. And this is the main reason why the jewelfish is number five on my most versatile dither fish list. list. Coming in at number four, the tiger bobs. Disclaimer. This list is comprised of fish that I have kept with aggressive and predatory fish under certain circumstances with a high percentage of success. It doesn't mean you will have the same success as myself, so please leave your top five list in the comments section below to increase success for all of us. Thank you. Number four, Tiger Bobs. These guys are pretty well known by most aquarium fish keepers and for the most part, most people don't like to keep them because of their notorious reputation for fin nipping and aggression. But did you know they grow to a perfect size between two and three inches tops? That small to mid-sized range cichlids can't easily catch and eat them? In addition, these little guys are always fast swimming and shoaling together. And with their striped bodies confusing fish that may try to prey on them, like that of the zebra in Africa, this is the main reason why they are number four on my list. Coming in at number three, the rainbow fish. Now I'm not going to take up a lot of your time with this beautiful specimen. Just know they are very fast swimming fish with a lot of color. In addition, grow to a good size that keep most predatory fish from eating them. And that's why they are number three on my list. So I'm gonna give you guys a bit time to read this information and then we'll move on to number two on my list Now, if you like this video and content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that sub button and notification bell. And don't forget to check me out on my Ambassador for Aquatic Life channel, where I discuss all things aquatic and other hobby related issues. Thank you. Coming in at number two, the silver dollar fish. Now, most people use silver dollar fish as dither fish for obvious reasons. They like schooling and shoaling together. Some of them can reach considerable size, which makes them 
very difficult to pick at or bully on on top of prey on. And that's why they are number two on my list. And if I might add, I also use certain dither fish like these silver dollar fish to break the shyness of some of my cichlids, like these normally shy frontosa cichlids. This is a bona fide proven method. Just look, normally frontosas at around two to three inches like these black widows will mainly stay in hiding more so than out in the open swimming where you can visually see them without a care in the world but the silver dollars help bring that out of them because they know if the silver dollars are swimming around there are no predators swimming around as well Just threw some flakes in here. It's feeding time for my cutter eyes and my dither fish. Different variations of tiger balls, garamis, green ray rainbows. And with that said, Coming in at number one, convicts or convict-like species in the same complex. They are my number one dither fish, mainly because they are tough, versatile, and aggressive. They are aggressive eaters. They aggressively defend their territories. And some like the Honduran red point even display nice beautiful colorations and there are other species in that complex as well that do the same and this is why they are number one on my list that's all I have for today and with that said this skip I'm out.